Jennifer Lopez is giving fans a sneak peek of her latest rom-com, Shotgun Wedding, and she just announced the release date. The megastar shared a picture of her and co-star Josh Duhamel in character on her Instagram on Wednesday, writing, Big news, Shotgun Wedding movie hits theaters June 29, 2022. We can't wait for you to see this movie. The romantic adventure comedy follows a bride and groom whose destination wedding doesn't necessarily go as planned. And the first look images show just that. In the pics, JLo is in a new dress and Josh wears a light pink tux. But they're all roughed up and bloody with their outfits wrinkled and dirty. In another photo shared on Twitter, the on-screen bride and groom are lounging on set. In the shot, Jennifer is resting in a golf cart while Josh stands next to her holding a large umbrella to protect them from the sun. This isn't the first time Jenny from the Block is sharing images from set. Last week, the Golden Globes nominee shared a series of pictures on Instagram writing, that's a wrap. One of the pics shows her, Josh, and Lenny Kravitz taking a selfie. In another, the movie star is seen staring off into the ocean, wearing the same mood dress, combat boots, and sporting a scab on her knee. The movie, which was shot in the Dominican Republic, has been in the headlines before. Josh replaced Army Hammer as the male lead in the film after the Call Me By Your Name actor stepped down due to a slew of allegations against him. And Josh happily stepped into the role. Just last year, the Transformers actor talked to Access Hollywood Sibley Skulls about how he was handling quarantine with his son, Axel. First of all, how are you doing? I need to ask that because I really want to get into this movie because I watched it this morning. Okay. Yes, so happy about it. Um, how is everything going? I know it's a difficult adjustment for everyone. So trying to just see how everybody is hanging in there. You know, it's it's... I spent the first three weeks at my cabin out in Minnesota, which was, I, it was, it was just me and my kid out there, you know, working all day long, just doing things, busy work, yeah. keeping ourselves occupied. And it wasn't until I got back to Los Angeles that it really kind of hit. And uh, obviously I was keeping track of what was going on while I was there. When I got back here, it's like, what do I do with myself? I'm having a hard time, you know, occupying myself and staying focused right. on you know, trying to stay creative, trying to trying to exercise, keep my mind, you know, occupied, giving myself routines. But, you know, even with all that, I just kind of, you know, with all the uncertainty and a lack of control, I think it makes it hard to focus. That's what I'm yeah. finding. Yeah, I bought a longboard for no reason yesterday, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to ride go it. Uh, well, I know, I can't go anywhere. I'm just going to go <laughs> ride it in Valley Village. <laughs> Um, how is your little one doing? He's doing great. He's doing really great. I mean, we were having, a, he's actually coming here in a little bit today. Uh, but he was with me, like I said, for about almost three weeks, literally out in the middle of nowhere in Minnesota. And it was great because, you know, the ice was still frozen on the lake. So it was like this giant playground. We'd be out there cruising around on the UTV. I take him sledding. We cut up, we did some ice fishing. I cut an actual hole in the ice and did some polar plunging. Wow. Uh, you know, just, there's just endless things to do out there. So that was, you know, I miss that because it really kept me occupied and kept me busy.